All right, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Rock. And you see what it is. We back, man. Kwame, he got uh, definitely got something to say again. <clears throat> uh, uh, today, man, I guess, uh, what, what's the dude's name? Uh, Tommy Sotomayor. The other day, right after, the, it was a day after the Judge Joe Brown interview, I hop on, and I don't even know why I was on my feed, but I, I see Tommy Sotomayor on there, and he's going bad on Kwame. And the cold part, I don't know if a lot of y'all know, before Kwame started going off on YouTube, where his YouTube started really popping off, he he did a few shows over there with uh with Tommy Sotomayor, and basically Tommy Sotomayor is tr basically trying to say like he basically made Kwame like as far as the YouTube thing like he he acting like he the one that put him on, but we gonna let Kwame talk and give his, his spill out and y'all know I'm gonna pause it and and get y'all the the good uh, well rounded just do. Now I ain't gonna curse on the first part. I, I, I probably ain't even gonna curse today, cause uh, it's just sad, man. I, I'm I'm new to this YouTube thing, and uh, a dude that I thought I was cool with is now you know dragging my name through the mud. So I've done nothing but respect this guy. Now, it's pausing like this because this is still live. If you look over here to the right, the chat is still moving. I've even shouted them out <laughs> when I go live. But it's, it's something that's interesting that I heard him say. He said, I'm the one help you start your YouTube career. See, see? And I'm like, wait a minute. Let me think back of how I even got in contact or even met this dude. The only reason why I know Tommy is because a video that I made on my Facebook that Jada Black, that Pro Basketball Updates, that Carcino, that a lot of other people used the video mm. and they made actual money off a video that I put on Facebook that got shared over, it got like over two, 300,000 views <laughs> and wow. it got shared a, a couple hundred thousand times. So. So I know you because I broke the internet just on Facebook previously. And that's how you got in contact with me. That's how we talk. And then now I broke the internet again. And now somehow you trying to talk to me and I owe you something. All right, um, pause. So I know some of y'all, y'all, you know, since the whole Kwame thing going down, y'all just kind of clicking on it to see what's, what's what and who's who. So I'm going to show y'all Tommy Sotomayor. This is Tommy Sotomayor. I don't know if y'all... He's been on the internet for a while as far as the YouTube. They call him a radio host. Uh, when he was going crazy on, on Kwame the other day, I went and looked at um, his YouTube and looked at like his affiliate links and all that. And in my opinion, I'm surprised Kwame, that's what Kwame was even talking about. I'm surprised Kwame was even like, you know, like basically helping this dude out or even entertaining him because this dude is, in my opinion, he, I ain't gonna say weird, but... Uh, he has like he has an OnlyFans page, and I'm thinking, okay, he must got an OnlyFans page, you know what I'm saying? Because you know how the internet is, you put your content out, they try to block your content and stuff. So some people make OnlyFans. Appreciate that sub though, but uh, my live stream is connected to my OBS, so it, it does that randomly. Sorry about that, but uh, yeah, so dude has. Video though, but I got I got to turn that off. Matter of fact, I could do that as as I'm doing this. But yeah, so dude, dude is a little bit off, man. Um, you know, he has OnlyFans and and what what was I going to? Oh, he has a porn. He has a porn up, and he has an X videos account. Now I, I was thinking like, okay, he must be uploading videos over there just to no this mo this weirdo is fucking on there performing and shit. But I'm not trying to promote this shit or nothing like that. But I'm just kind of trying to. Say, like, I'm surprised Kwame is messing with him when this dude got all that, that type of weird stuff going on. Um, but I'm just confused. How did we become such good friends when um, the only two times I've talked to you really is something that I've done? Those were my words out of my mouth. The only thing that I ever gave you credit for and I respected you for is the fact that you had enough kahunas to say the things that you, that we all were saying, we were just saying them in the barbershop and not online. Um, so it's almost like you want to stand on my shoulders. The stuff that you were saying was crazy. And you kind of exposed yourself and, and pretty much showed that you didn't do any research 
because you said that I'm going around bothering people, that I'm going around bothering uh, Jack and, and Matt Barnes invited me to his penis, sir. So what I was doing, sir, was oh, trying was to disrespect him in the best way I could so he can challenge me to what he did challenge me to, which was a boxing match. And then I countered that boxing match and said I wanted to jump up and down on it. Hold on. So y'all peeped the audio changed in the middle of his live? I got a feeling the powers that be might be messing with some shit in the background on Kwame, but let's let him keep going. His ass like a trampoline because I ain't no motherfucking boxer. Now, had you done a little research... And instead of trying to, um, the only reason why you know anything about no, Judge Joe Brown is because you called me when you came back from out of town. And when you called me when you came back from out of town, I told you I had emailed Judge Joe Brown, and I think I'm getting him on the show Friday. And I'm the one said, maybe we can bring you on. I never said, yes, we're going to bring you on because I had to think about it. Judge Joe Brown talk enough for three people. So what was your role and what was your purpose going to be? But instead of you waiting point. And, and trying to act like you just over me and you helped me. Okay, so it seems like when, uh, what I'm gathering, we, we, you know, we all watching this together. I guess it's a quote unquote reaction video, but I'll just be trying to get y'all to, to spill. We could all break this down together, but it seems like Tommy Sotomayor is mad that he's not able to get the amount of clout from, from I was about to say Jack, from, uh, from Kwame that he, that he, was hoping to get, you know what I'm saying? He knew that he was going to take off because it's an ex-NBA player. Any type of NBA player, and then, you know, they all been calling him a bus, and we all know Kwame isn't a bus. If you really, it, I, I got another video. I got to put it together, though, but I got another video that I want to put together showing uh, Kwame's. He, he got some highlights. I'm not, I'm not saying he was the best player, but he definitely wasn't a bus. Because you really didn't. There was things on my YouTube. YouTube that I didn't even know until Star called me yesterday and told me. Is you acting like you gave, gave me so much YouTube advice and you helped me out. I wasn't even monetized in the way that I should have been where I could be monetized overseas and abroad. It was things that I did not know and how to protect my channel that Star talked to me about. Not you, sir. And I'm still not going to disrespect you because I can kind of see now what you're doing. If you can't make money with somebody, you're going to do what you always do, be the king of controversy, and you're going to make some money off of them either way it goes. And, and that's sad because that's, that's cold, I was yeah. a real ally. This bust-ass dude, bust. you had my cell phone number. And I noticed you ain't highlight the fact that I told you, man, because I'm a, I'm a dude that be by itself. I might jump on my tractor. I might not have my phone. I might go to sleep, which I did go to sleep. I don't want to hear niggas calling my phone all the time, <laughs> tip talking all that tough shit. I turned my phone on, do not disturb. And I took a nap. Told you about it. You exposing text messages. That's what women do. Well, I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna have to start putting my phone on Do Not Disturb. Like, you don't get no notifications, none of that shit. I don't know. It's a random thing. Keep going. <laughs> I didn't disrespect you in any of those text messages. So to put a text message up and change the narrative, to me, that's crazy. And not one time, Tommy, have you talked to me and said, where are you going with this thing? Where are you going with this? I, I see you done blew up, and I done seen you say a couple, several different things. Where are you trying to get to? Right. You never asked me that one time. Because if you did, you would have known that this wasn't about no goddamn basketball, sir. And that's what it was. That's that. He basically figured out what it was, and I just said it just a second ago. You know, It seemed like Tommy upset that he wasn't able to build the clout. He thought that he was about to get off of Kwame. You know what I'm saying? Which, in reality... I ain't gonna call it cloud. It's just, uh, I guess, views or whatever you want to call it. But he wasn't able to do what he wanted to do with Kwame. You know what I'm saying? And really, what it all come down to is every man gonna do what every man gonna want to do. If you if you can fit in, hey, you can fit in. That's just like me uploading this Kwame stuff. I happen to fit in because the I love a good redemption story. And then I don't know. It's just uh, it's just a whole lot into it. But I think it has to be done. You know what I'm saying? I feel like my breakdowns are a little bit better than some other people's, but it, you shouldn't be going out playing basketball if you don't feel like you're better than an opponent. That's just my opinion. Did you see the interview? Or at least know you've been working on your shot and that you got a good shot out there. The other dude might be wrong. Last night? Huh? You want to use your platform to argue with niggas. I'm not...
finna do that. This is the last time I'm finna say anything about it. I'm gonna let you tell people, because this is what you do. You're gonna tell people all this other shit and pretend like we were so close, because you could tell you was in your feelings because ain't nowhere in the hell some man that I only talked to through text two times uh, uh, in two years, damn near, a year and a half, that's gonna make me not want my daughter to come over. You was in your damn. feelings. And you should have got out your feelings and talked to me like a man, and I would have let you know. We can do one the next day. And that was just been as simple as that. I don't owe you a motherfucking thing. You made money off my video. Yeah, and that's what it seemed like. He was he was more worried about getting that clout. He wanted some of that Judge Joe Brown clout. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. That was a big reason why that, that last live stream went off so much on uh, Kwame's channel. Because Judge Joe, that's Judge Joe. <laughs> he was running the airwaves. He said it up on the, on the interview. He was, he was running the airwaves. And like he said, it judge don't talk enough for three people. And then to call apart, Tommy ass talk enough for three people with his damn self. So you can't have Tommy and Joe up on there. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just what it is. But yeah, I mean, it, obviously we know who's in the right and who's in the wrong. And that's why I always talk about Kwame. That's what I like about him. And you can see it is that uh, he's only going after people that fuck with him. He not going after people that been... That's just chilling, not doing nothing. Every time he's gotten on somebody, <laughs> they've did something to him. Like he said, quicksand. Quicksand. He getting some of mama's cooking. Yo, I've cashed at you money. How much money you cashed at me? Why don't, why, you wasn't talking about coming on my platform. You was trying to get me to come on your platform to do what, Tommy? Come on now, so stop it. Um, I had some valid points in my last video. Most celebrities stay the fuck away from you. I shouted you out. Twice, two, two, three, four times. So to try to demean my character because you got sensitive, because you got in your feelings, that's not my fault. <laughs> that's not my fault. I don't owe a nigga nothing. That's why I be by myself. It ain't no motherfucker in this car. You make money off my content that you pull off Facebook that I could have been putting on YouTube the entire time. And there's several videos I've done, sir, that Jada Black and these YouTubers that I named that they can vouch for me, that they've made money off my content, sir, that I was putting on Facebook, sir. So it's a damn shame how all of a sudden nigga go to YouTube and not everybody want to find a reason to fight with them. Like, I'm, I'm not here to fight with you, nigga. Uh, I'm here to do what I'm doing. Shout out to King Randall. Y'all uh, let King Randall know. I'm going to try to email him or uh, hit him on Instagram. Um, I think it'll be important to do an interview with King Randall and bring a platform that's my size to get this brother to finally be able to speak and, and, and tell us why he thought of this. And I heard that they're trying to block off his schools from opening up. Mm. And I would like to find out why. Okay, and so see? instead of getting him on a platform and changing the narrative and not letting him speak and asking him other Pause. I wanted to do my whole clapping. I know a lot of y'all been around for a minute now. If some shit happened with my PC, it should reset a whole bunch of settings, so I don't have none of my... I can't do the Debo no more. I can't come off the top rope with Marlon. My claps is gone. I don't got my horns. I got some work to do in the background, y'all. Sorry, sorry. Other me. questions about things that have nothing to do with this young man's vision. Um, please, please let him know that he need, or he can email me or I'm going to try to reach out to him when I get home. Uh, because that young man has a hell of a story and he shouldn't have been disrespected by, in my opinion, another elder. Mm. See, we got to get elders that know they lane and not competing with young people, you know? And so right. that's what I'm about. I'm not, I'm not here uh, to tear people down and do all that. Uh, I know you tried to say that, but the people who spoke about me, I spoke about them. And then the stuff you was coming up with, I'm jealous the way Matt Barnes looked. Dude, you got videos on the internet where you talking about the way men look and calling them light skin and doing all the same things. So you just reach it, bro, and that's crazy. And I'm still not going to disrespect you. But I don't like no man standing on my shoulders. You did not come up with mama's cooking. My mama came up with mama's <laughs> cooking, and she been putting mama's cooking on me. And you going to find out why you didn't meet me about 20 years ago. Because, <laughs> Tommy, you smart enough to ask, wait a minute, let me do a little research. Why were they sending a sports analyst to goddamn college campuses all over the world? I don't know this has thing answered that happened? question. Has it ever they happened? They ain't never answered that question either. Is this the only bus that they've sent around an analyst to college campuses? Because if it is, there's something to look at. If it's not, cool. That's just what happened to all buses. You know? Yeah, it's all. But it's funny how this hmm. bus then came to the internet 
and everybody eating off the bus train. Right. Because this wasn't about no goddamn basketball. This was about respect. And this is exposing how no one seen. Pause it real quick. I know he dropping his jewels, but that's that's the one thing. That's a big thing with me is respect. You know what I'm saying? And man, like it's a lot of. That's why I come. He come on some manly shit, like manhood, like for real though. Because a lot of these dudes, that like that's like the shit on Twitter right now. They they say some hella disrespectful to you, and then they put hashtag respectfully. Oh, your mama a fat ass respectfully, like. I don't like that. All that disrespectful shit and people trying to do that catty ass internet shit. I don't go for that. I don't go for that shit, especially in real life and on these internets. Hey, I don't know if y'all go through my comment section. I don't play down there. You got one time. I'll let you leave your comment if you disagree. You can get your shit off where you disagree. Once you start dragging people's name through the mud, first I'm going to tell you about yourself, then I'm blocking your ass. Seems to be able to respect anyone anymore. Respect. Everyone's talking with an effeminate tongue, trying to stand on top of other men. Well, I don't like to be stood on. Judge Joe Brown didn't shoulder. stand on me. Mm -hmm. he, he said, I want to be your mentor. Star didn't stand on me. He said, let me help you, young brother. I can see where you're deficient. I had situations where I couldn't even get the stream yards to act right. <laughs> I remember that. So these brothers are actually being elders, not somebody who, as soon as they don't get their goddamn way, they hiding in the bed for two days, don't even want their own goddamn daughter, and then come out ranting and raving and showing text messages where a young man never disrespected you. And I'm still not. Like I said, my mama taught me to respect my elders, but she also taught me to get away from the ones that was jealous of the young ones. Mm. And you, sir, you didn't do any research behind anything that you were saying. You just started saying it. And if you wonder why he called him an elder, I think he, it'd probably throw a few people off, you know what I'm saying? Because that's not, in my opinion, this elder. It's just a nigga that's older than him, you know what I'm saying? But Kwame's only 39, and uh, Tommy Sotomayor, so he's born in 75, he's 46. So that's why he called him, called him an elder, but he, that nigga just older than you. That nigga's not your elder, you know what I'm saying? But... You know, Tommy Sotomayor ain't got too much. I don't even want to click on nothing because they might pull up some porn up shit and I had to do the damn video over again. But yeah, this was for the people that don't know. This is Tommy Sotomayor. This was, uh, yeah. And in my opinion, I think he's been blacklisted because this channel is not hitting the way it used to. And I think he was wet, uh, ready to use Kwame as like a launch pad to get his channel back popping. You know what I'm saying? You were actually crying about Kevin Samuel not mentioning your name, but then niggas going to exclude my name out of a factual trade, and then I can't mention it? After 20 years, I can't call niggas that I played with on the team and mention, hey, bro, that's wrong. You tripping. Then these niggas double down, talk gangster one minute, and now you <laughs> talking gangster, talking about you ain't going to pull up to my house. Well, I never told these gentlemen I was going to pull up on them. When the nigga made the post, talking about he got to look me in my eyes, I, bought, I told him, okay, I'll bring these eyes to you. That's what I told him. I'll bring these little beady ass eyes right on to you. And then when that little, them uh, when that little uh, Becky with the good hair said he wanted to box, I just countered because can't no man tell me what to do. I ain't going to box, but I'll jump up up and down <laughs> on your ass like a trampoline, though. So that's enough for the hate. Y'all can miss me with all that hate. I'm here for a different reason. I'm going to shout out King Randall, uh, and I'm praying that this young brother can come on today. But if he can't come on today, anytime you available, sir, my platform is yours. So right. y'all let them know I said that. Y'all spread some love with some positive shit. Yeah. And bam, right there, that's when they cut the sound off. So that's what I was saying. Earlier in the, in the stream, they was tweaking with the fucking with the sound. He doing this right off his phone. So you know it's somebody in the background. And then they cut the sound off right here. I even prove it because it just... He keep going, because he start going in. I want to know what he's saying. He's, he, he's going in, talking this shit. You know what I'm saying? But they wasn't fucking with him. But yeah, man, it's been your boy Rock, man. Hope y'all enjoy these videos. Definitely more to come. Uh, I got a gaming video coming later uh, for all my gamers that follow this channel, man. I'm not going to leave y'all out like this. But I'll catch y'all on the next one. It's been your boy Rock. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Peace.